a lot of uh, practice against Farah, so it's been weird. Anything else? Yeah. Okay, so this is interesting. Because uh, Rocky is a really solid uh, uh, Falcon main from uh, Gothenburg. Yeah, but well, they... one of those boys that uh, came all the way out here. But then again, Buffet is also like ridiculously good at like just certain matchups. So sometimes he just plays Roy and like dominates someone, like oh. a color W. Yeah. But, but he can also like lose to random people. <laughs> Indeed. So he's kind of like the. I'm not sure how to describe this. It. Like it's a, it's a wild card that can do really well or really badly. I think it's because he doesn't take his opponents serious when they're like. Yeah. Sometimes he's like. He's notorious for being like sandbaggy at times. Yeah. And you shouldn't really be doing that against Rocky. No. I'm, I'm guessing he's not going to go full on sandbag against him. I think uh, Rocky is suffering like from what we uh, was talking about earlier that uh, he has been studying like to, to being a doctor or something, and then yeah. he is not as active in the Gothenburg scene. Anymore. Yeah, I have not. I've not seen follow too many tournaments in Sweden except for like the big ones. So I'm not sure how Rocky has been placing or if he's ranked or anything. But uh, he's playing still, very solidly though. Yeah, he has the fundamentals, so uh, that should carry him. But yeah, yeah. Wuffy, he just has those things nailed down. All the he carries off his opponent and then just finishes with an up B. He's really, he really likes the up B. So sometimes he's a really flashy Marth to follow. Oh damn! <laughs> that F smash. Ah, uh, and he drifts all the way back. So what does it say about the Marth if we at the edge and you decide to up throw? You want to go for the combo or you want to down throw to get the gimps? It's like saying something about the Marth's confidence to combo the oh character. Yeah. Hmm. What I would do as a lowly ranked Marth main, I would uh, down throw at the ledge <laughs> and just try to gimp. Get the gimp? Yeah. Yeah. Do down throw and then counter. And hope that they will just do some knee because they're so tempted. Oh, Marth is that is that 71%. I yeah. just want that kill real quick. But yeah. yeah, this is looking super dominant for Buffy. He just yeah, has full control in the Falcon matchup. That was uh, very convincing. Yeah, definitely not one of those times where Buffy is just like, oh, I'm gonna do random stuff. Yeah, and uh, now he's gonna go into the trap where that Svar often goes into, goes to Dreamland, and that's actually one of Wolf's best stages. Oh, really? Yeah. He's really good on okay. Dreamland. Yeah, it has those tech chases, gets him trapped on the platforms. Oh, that up, that up smash almost never hits in like any situation. Kinda looks like you're gonna hit it, but it goes like in between the legs of certain characters and stuff <laughs> like that. It's like, oh man, it's so bad. But up tilt is just better at almost any everything. Oh, it's yeah. a kill. Super tipper right there. So Rocky only got to like 16% before he died. That's like. Yeah, looking at this set is like, it seems that oh, Marth has like full control on Falcon, which is true. If you play really well with Marth, you yeah. can control Falcon quite a lot. But then again, if you miss your punishes and you don't control Falcon completely, then he's like, he's gonna hit you with something and you're dead. Yeah. But right now it's it's like you can see Buffy just having full control. Yeah, and for and for the Falcon, it's like it just uh, looking for openings to get like juggles and knees and like grabs as well at high percent. Like that's almost a guaranteed kill. I think there's no escape for Marth at uh, like 80 percent to get oh. when he gets through. Just look at this. It's like Rocky. Rocky seems really scared by it. <laughs> every, every time he has to attack, it's like, oh no, Buffy is gonna be there and he's gonna grab me. <laughs> it looks like like completely hopeless. Oh my! But I don't know. Let's see if he can pull something off. It's, uh, it looks really hard for Rocky here. I don't know. Keep it. Keep in mind that it's a it's a best of five as well. That was really risky, actually, because he was only at 90%, so that's the sort of things you go for at like 130 and stuff. Mm. I don't know, you, you just see that uh, Wolf's uh, game plan it just works so well that it's completely shutting down Rocky. Because yeah. I know from experience that Rocky, if he gets a hit on Marth, he can completely destroy you. But then again, it's like... Wolf is a completely different caliber of player. 
Yeah, he has a lot of experience against Oh, Falcon. yes. Both against the Oh, Taco. that was a really good combo. Oh, Ooh. my! That was really sick. Yeah, kill, yeah. <laughs> Rocky is sick when he gets those moments. Oh, wow. That was really oh. impressive. I, I saw what uh, Wolfram was trying to do there. He was just that completely other side. Oh, that fair. He, he was DIing out, I guess. Yeah. Actually, one of the strongest things in the Smash Up for Wolfram is like his edge guarding against the Falcon. He's like really strong on the edge guard. Yeah. He knows that uh, when uh, Falcon goes high with his up B, you just cut him off at the apex of his up B. Yeah. yeah that, that's where he's really vulnerable. Just, just hit him out again and then rinse repeat. His combo game is kind of good, but I think that still edge guarding is better. I think I think that his re grabs and everything, and just some some of his juggles are really what, yeah, gives him the edge. Oh! I was I was thinking that he was gonna go for the the tipper right there when you saw him dashing back and forth, like he maybe missed his uh, tipper input. I've seen uh, oh, some players. He doesn't, e he doesn't even like hit him to like, make it a. <laughs> even game, <laughs> just like, oh, you're dead, I'm gonna grab ledge. I've seen some players on the top platform when they forward throw them off the top platform to the sec side platform. Yeah. If they die in, they like fair and F smash. Oh yeah. I, th I think it's Saiyan who's done it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, okay. I uh, he, was gonna, he was trying to get the, the stomp. Uh, I think this is death for Marth. Yeah, should be. Super strong start this game from uh, from Rocky though. Yeah. Got some clean edge cutting in combos. And also, both his patience, like uh, waiting for his opponent to deplete their shield, and then it's like, okay, there's a tiny little gap in the in the shield where I can hit his foot. But ooh, yeah. Rocky. That was really good drop of uh, back carries, like very surprisingly, and yeah, that it is super works. It is super strong against Marth, especially when you when you guess right on Marth's recovery. It's like, oh, you're there. I can just hit you. Yeah, it's it's um, it's a little gimmicky if the uh, Marth expects it, but uh, you can also condition him to like, okay, then I'm just gonna roll if you're just gonna wait or yeah. be early or. So if you, if you want to be good at this matchup, you have to be aware of all those things. If you're gonna be Marth against Falcon, you need to nail your edge guards. And Look at this edge guard now. Look at he's not gonna drop it. So. Yeah, it's like no chance. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> but yeah, edge guards and the uh, re grabs at low percent is really good. Yeah. And then if if you're Falcon in this matchup, you just you practice the auto combos. <laughs> So uh, Rocky is like waiting for uh, Wolfie to go in now. He's not going in himself, but because Wolfie is like cutting Rocky's off. movement. Oh, he's so sick! Like when he's he's not being uh, interrupted by like throws and re grabs and juggles and stuff like that. He just moves so cleanly around the stage and just hits Wolfie. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe Wolfie is like getting somewhat impatient, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Super clean. One, two, three, bang. <laughs> Don't need the Ken combo when you got the B. Oh <laughs> my god! Exactly what he wanted uh, on the first stock as well. Yeah. You should at least try as Falcon, because if it misses, you can just shield. Yeah. He can't uh, get a grab uh, early when he's on the ledge anyway. Yeah, it's a super strong tool. Yeah. But like, in the, in the Falcon meta, as it is, it's yeah. like it seems kind of um, unorthodox, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so sometimes that just happens. <laughs> the longest taper. <laughs> oh, you see that? Um, oh, neat, neat. <laughs> okay, okay. Right now, it's it's been less than twenty seconds, and two stocks are already gone. Yeah, and both this like four <laughs> <four, five, laughs> three stocks are gone. Not even thirty seconds. What is this? Oh wait, it's the Falcon Marth matchup. And with like force smash, force smash, knee knee, force smash, force smash. Yeah. <laughs> it's like ridiculous. It's all those tools that people just complain about. Like, oh yeah, I met this Falcon that just spams knee, and I met this Marth that, that's just f smashing. <laughs> oh, the juggle. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, the really smart right there. Oh shit! He went far out. Uh, uh. 
this counter pick is like super, super volatile. It's like it can, it can go either way on this matchup, uh, on the on this map. But Wolf is just showing clear dominance in these close, uh, close quarters. <laughs> yeah, because oh, oh, oh no. no, you can't do that. I just want to see Rocky get like three hits. Oh shit, that was a tip or what? I, I say that and then it's Wolf that gets three hits. <laughs> that was the tip room? I'm not sure. That was like the mid, mid